I think we will look at 2021 NBA free agency, then the Minnesota Timberwolves are a team that I think we can all agree really haven't, at least until recently, done a whole lot. But now they have done a signing that I think is a little bit under the radar and I think is worth discussing because this is a player who in the next couple of years has the potential to be one of the best international players in the NBA. And that's what we're talking about in today's video. Who is this player that the Timberwolves signed and what can he bring to the franchise for the foreseeable future? <coughs> Guys, thanks for joining me today. My name is Troy. This is the Half Court Report YouTube channel. So glad you're tuning into this video today because, hey, it is the NBA offseason. Not a whole lot to talk about, but I am going through a lot of teams to give you my take on how they're doing this offseason and what I think uh, is in store for them for the upcoming year. So uh, if it's your first time here, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Would love to have you be a part of uh, what we have going on here with Half Core Report and make sure you like the video as well. Quality NBA content several times a week. So who is this mystery man? The uh, I, I read an article calling him like an international man of mystery. Well, it is Leandro Balmaro. And if you're a fan of this channel, then I've talked about Balmaro on this channel before. Uh, he was in my 2020 mock draft video. In my mock draft, I had him going in the 20s, which is where he went in the 2020 NBA draft. He was drafted number 23 overall, selected by the New York Knicks, but in a trade with the Timberwolves, he became part of the T-Wolves. But he did stay overseas for one more year. So after last year playing for FC Barcelona, one of the top teams in Spain and in the Euro League, he has now signed his rookie scale contract with the Minnesota Timberwolves. So quick refresher on who Leandro Balmaro is. He is a player from Argentina. He is 6'7", so he can play, I think, the one, the two, or the three. Weighs about 180 pounds, 21 years old. NBADraftRoom.com in their scouting report prior to the 2020 draft they call Leandro Balmaro a high-energy player who can play as a wing, play as a point guard, really mixes it up on the basketball court because he is a feisty defender, he runs hard in transition, and he never takes plays off. He has rave reviews when it comes to his passing. Great feel for the game as an initiator and as a guy who can get his teammates involved. One of those players with a high basketball IQ who can see plays before they happen, has great touch, really good pace and accuracy on his passes. And since he is tall at 6'7", if he does end up playing that point guard spot, even if it's just maybe for, you know, 10 to 15 minutes per game, one of those guys who is tall enough to see over the defense and make effective plays. So he's a good ball handler, he's really good in the pick and roll, and he makes good and quick decisions with the ball. The pre-draft analysis talks about his outside shooting and says that's not a huge strength, but if you look at his stats from his most recent year with FC Barcelona, his shooting was actually pretty decent. So when you look at Balmaro's stats, when he was playing in the Spanish League, 18 minutes a game, eight points per game, about two rebounds, two assists, 43% from three, 93% from the line. That says to me, this guy is a quality shooter. When you look at that at a per 36 minute basis, 16 points per game, four rebounds, almost four and a half assists, over two steals a game. So you are seeing that there is some talent there that is still very much untapped. And for those NBA comparisons, they compare him to Manu Ginobili, who is another Argentinian player who was one of the best players ever for the San Antonio Spurs, one of the best international players that we've ever seen in the NBA. So let's look a little bit deeper into Balmaro's game and what he can bring to the Timberwolves. Well, he's a really good defender, especially when you consider how young he is. And defense, that is something that the Timberwolves are definitely needing on their team. That's why they made that trade, one reason, for Patrick Beverly. That is why you're seeing a lot of interest on their end regarding Ben Simmons. And that's where I see a lot of similarities to Balmaro and Patrick Beverly, who the Timberwolves most recently traded for. Two guys that are just going to hound their opponent from one end of the floor to the other. 
So I think if Balmaro can use this rookie year to focus on honing his defense and his playmaking, and that's going to be a successful rookie year. So if we're talking about his playmaking, Leandro Balmaro is a player who likes to get out in transition. He likes to play fast. He's good at playing off the defense, creating passing lanes for his teammates, setting them up for easy baskets. And then finally, Balmaro's shooting. It has improved each year that he's been playing. In the 17-18 season, 17% from three, all the way up to over 40% most recently. So that's something he's definitely improving on, and we are seeing legit improvement from year to year. So that's three things that you're getting with Balmaro. Great defense, good passing and playmaking, and some good solid shooting. I'm excited to see what type of rookie year Leandro Balmaro is going to have. Let me know in the comments what you think of Balmaro and what are your expectations for the Timberwolves this upcoming season. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Would love if you subscribe to the channel as well for some fresh quality NBA content all the time. That's all I got for you today. My name is Troy. This is the Half Core Report, and I'll catch you next time.